Hello and welcome to the first AUTV. I'm Tom and we're going to be bringing the latest in sports scores, team rankings and highlights from the past few weeks. Firstly, I want to tell you what we're going to be doing here at AUTV. Over the rest of the year, we're going to be bringing you coverage of the sports games that you partake in every Wednesday. We'll be following the Bucks League, covering as many games as we can and broadcasting them to you online and every other Wednesday at the Waterhole. We will also be bringing you interviews from members of sports societies and members of the AU. Not to forget, we will have a running AUTV Challenge League where sports teams will be able to take each other on in games off the pitch. To begin with, we have the highlights of the first team football from the past month, starting with their opening win against Chichester Seconds.
A good start for the first team in their first four games. The unfortunate loss to St Mary's to nine in the top spot. Wins for the second and third teams have kept the Portsmouth momentum going in the opening weeks. And let's not forget about the ladies team and their successful opening 5-1 win against Bath. We'll be following the men's first team closely, covering their home games here at Portsmouth, so keep an eye out for more of our highlights at AU TV. Another well-played sport here at Pompey is hockey, and we were there to capture big wins from both the men's and women's teams in recent weeks.
Welcome back. Um, I'm joined by Owen, who is the centre forward for the men's hockey team, first team. Um, welcome, welcome, Thank Owen. You. Thanks for coming by. Um, how do you think the team's been getting on so far this year? Um, I think we've been doing really well so far. Um, we had a bit of a hiccup when we played St Mary's, but we've won our last two games and we've been playing much better. All right. How, how have you been? Sorry, have you been following the women's first team when they're unbeaten run so far this uh, season? Well, with hockey in general, there's always great support um, throughout the club. All the clubs really get involved. Yeah. Uh, I know that they've won all their games so far and they can look to go up again or go right. fight promotion. Are they, uh, what, what division are they in? Uh, they are in the one below the Premier. Last right. year they got into the playoffs and they had a tough match against Cardiff, but they didn't go up. Right. I hope they do the better this year. Uh, it's a busy week for you this week. You've, uh, you've got a first cup match with Exeter and a league game on Sunday versus Reading. Yeah. Uh, how are you preparing? Um, well, we've already been preparing for a couple of weeks before. Um, Addy, our coach, is training us quite hard in fitness. Um, Exeter will be a very tough game, and so will Reading. Exeter, who could probably go up if they were allowed two teams in the Premier League, but Reading will also be strong. Um, so I take it you're not out tonight then? No, <laughs> um, I might be in trouble if I go out. <laughs> uh, is the cup equally as important as the league, or are you prioritising one? Or uh, well, I think the, the league is much more important. Um, it's always been my priority, and it's been my club's priority for many years now to go up into the Premier League again um, but if we can do well in the cup that'd be nice but the league comes first. Um, and you've won both your home matches is it a case of Fortress Langston as some, some have been calling it? Uh, well as I say it's always great support in hockey there'll always be uh, other games going on before and afterwards and they'll always come down and have a cheeky beverage maybe <laughs> we do Centurions down there <laughs> so it's always good to have home support there on the side cheering you on. All right. That's great. Well, uh, thanks very much for joining me. Ah, no worries. It's fine. Thanks very much for joining me, Owen. Yeah. Now moving on to the men's rugby, where we were there to catch the opening clash against Buckingham New University.
A huge couple of weeks for our informed rugby teams. The first team is looking good, placed second in their league. The women's team is doing well too, also sitting second in their division. But the plaudits go to the second team, who has won all four of their opening fixtures, sitting firmly on top of the table. Now moving on to basketball. We were there for the first team's opening home game in the highly competitive 1A division against a tough UCL side. A huge turnout there at the basketball. Unfortunately, it's been a tough start for Pompey this season with the first and seconds winless. However, credit to the women's team who has made a great start, winning two of their first four matches. Now, I'm joined by Kat Redding here, who's a VP of sports. Welcome, Hi. Kat. Nice, nice to see you. What are your feelings on the sports team starts to the season so far? Well, um, I've actually been really optimistic. We've had a really good start to the season. Uh, we finished 30th in the Bucks table last year and we've already been at 25th at one point and we're now sitting at 28th. So we've had loads of really good wins, um, a few, obviously a few losses as you get. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really good start to the season. I'm really optimistic for the year ahead. Um, you mentioned the Bucks League. How many teams are in the Bucks League? For Hundreds. It's Hundreds. Like a, well, it's like a national league. So, so most of the university. university. Most, yeah. <laughs> Great. Wow. Um, what big events have we got to look forward to over the coming months? 
Uh, well, we've obviously got um, a few massive events in the calendar that are there every year. We've got um, Aydana and Varsity, which are two huge events that sportos love. Um, and also something new I'm trying to introduce this year or working on and trying to get is um, an alumni varsity, like an official old boys, old girls weekend. So getting some like past mm. students down to play current students and just have some sort of like a really good sort of legacy traditional event. So. Excellent. Um, what's been your um, favourite moment of the season so far, if you have one? Um, well, the first day that we had loads of Bucks fixtures on was a really like good day because I was obviously really worried first day and um, it all starting up but we just had so many wins and everyone was just so excited and the best moment of that day was when Welshie or Sarah the president of netball rang me and sang the whole first verse and chorus of all we do is win and that kind of just like summed up my day and it was just it was like bang on it just set up for a really good president for the for the year. I've heard um, you've had a lot of sign-ups this year for sports yeah, we've had um, a record, like, we're going really well this year. We're only 22 um, off of hitting 3,000, which is, we're one of the biggest AUs in the country, looking at other numbers. There is one university, um, I can't remember exactly which one, that only has 500 members, which is less than we actually take on tour. So um, this year we've, we're hitting really good numbers, um, and hopefully we'll break 3,000 before Christmas. Excellent. Um, you mentioned to me earlier something about Team of the Week and Game of the Week. Would you mind ex explaining to me what exactly that is? Yeah, um, our Game of the Week is something that we, we um, choose at random um, every week and we usually publish it about Thursday or Friday, just saying the one to watch. So um, there's obviously like 40 of fixtures going on every week collectively home and away so it's really good just to showcase a different sport every week of something to focus on and mm. um, UPSU TV Pure FM and the Galleon usually are there to cover them as well so it's just really good to spotlight different sports um, so that happens and then we've mm. got team of the week which is um, the best result that we have from the week and oh, right. um, wins team of the week and that gets published everywhere and um, they win some free snake bite in the union so <laughs> um, the next always one. nice <laughs> yeah um, is there any other news for sports that you want to um, not really um, oh, in particular yeah. at the moment, <laughs> um, but we've obviously always got our fixtures going on. We've got a few... And you've got things in the pipeline, as you mentioned, about your varsity there. And yeah, and a few big events. So. All right, excellent. Well, thank you very much for joining me. No problem. Thanks very much for joining me today, Kat. Let's have a look at how the other teams in the Bucks League got on this week. That's everything we have time for this week. Join us again in a fortnight's time for more AU highlights and sports updates. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.